Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kristen and welcome to my channel. A huge, huge thank you to EA for providing me with early access copy of Cats and Dogs, which you guys seen yesterday. Now, I have a list a mile long of different builds and everything that I want to complete, and I have seen so many simmers kind of going over the showcase of all of the build and buy items, so I kind of skipped that. I might possibly put one up later today, I'm not too sure, but I feel like everybody has has been giving just kind of a rundown of all of the objects so I feel like everybody has seen all of the items and all of the swatches so I thought I would do what I enjoy the most and just go right into it and build so I have so many different builds yesterday we actually did a kitty cat cafe a place that you can actually take your sim go with your cats it's a cat hangout area and you can grab something to eat and then there's like a little area that you can have your cats do their activities lots of toys and their scratching posts and everything like that they can even like make some friends maybe do some mating all fun things like that so if you guys happen to miss that definitely check it out I will try to remember to link it in the description as well so of course I felt like we needed to have a pet store now this is kind of multi-purpose like it also has things for around the house and it incorporates a lot of the stuff from the new pack so I did try to keep this build very limited to the cats and dogs expansion only so if you guys only have the base game or maybe like one or two other packs and you don't have a lot of different content of the game that you're pretty Pretty much gonna have everything that you need if you place this into your game so I did try to keep it really limited it can be kind of hard but for the first couple builds that I am doing I am trying to focus a lot on just the pack alone and I feel like there is so many different items I definitely will be doing some more of like the coastal and the nautical theme builds probably in like restaurants and homes there's like so many ideas that I have my paper is like Oh my gosh it's there's so many different things that I need to do so a lot of my builds lately they have been really trying to stay within the theme of Brindleton Bay with like the new siding that you guys are seeing that's actually two of the new I think there's like four or I think there's like four new patterns for the exterior um, those like wooden shingle type of design so I did try to use those now all of the builds that I have been working on I am trying to have them look as if they were built in Brindleton Bay they just have that same kind of aesthetic as you do see when you actually like load up the new world and I will be kind of working on some more like brighter and colorful builds later on in the week I just kind of have been really enjoying all of these new items so definitely incorporating a lot of that in the build so this is really small retail lot I can't remember how much it cost but it might be a kind of expensive because there are like a lot of trinkets and a lot of the cat activities inside but I didn't actually see how much it was but it is super tiny it's kind of just all open like an open floor plan that has all of the different items kind of on the shelves to look like a really just a traditional kind of store it has a little bathroom and I think if I was to do something different I might actually add in a basement and put a bed in case you work here but you can actually have a nap there is like a love seat the wooden love seat that came with this pack so I actually had to get her to have a nap to make it daytime so that I could actually take some pictures at the end so I do actually put some stuff on the bench but it still is functional you can sit on it and you can also nap on it so another thing that I really really took advantage of was the sizing of items down making everything miniature that came in so handy with a lot of the statues and especially with the table of teddy bears you guys are gonna see I actually went ahead and used um, three different shapes of or three different sizes of the teddy bears so if you have any children or toddlers you definitely can come and fill up their bedroom and purchase a bunch of teddy bears so there also is like a bunch of the statues and I did kind of add in a little bit of clutter that's like the cat food and dog food because around here you can go to the pet store get toys get um, pet clothing I wish that we had some pet mannequins so maybe like small dog small cat and then the larger breeds 
of the dogs. Like, how adorable would that be if you could actually dress mannequins in like the shark costume and the unicorn headband and like put them all around the store? I think that would be adorable. I don't know if that's something they are gonna incorporate in the future or if it's just something that it's not even gonna exist, but I thought it would be really cool to add something like that on top of the shelves, but we didn't really have it. So I did go ahead and actually place in like a full wall of shelves and just kind of added, I tried to make it so it didn't really look cluttered and messy. I did want to have like a rhyme and reason and really make it look like a real legit store. So I just kind of added in a bunch of the different items that the cats are gonna need that maybe the pet owners wanna come and do some shopping and really incorporated a lot of the different color swatches. Now one of the things that does honestly drive me nuts about these shelves is that the item placing, it's so random and it's really hard to place, like to raise the items up. So I did kind of struggle with that a little bit but we did kind of a row for cats, a row for dogs and then just like a whole entire area for the pet treats, doggy treats, kitty treats, everything like that. And then I have that shelf that's like behind the counter. And then I ended up putting like a little bit of clutter, but I kind of picture also that maybe this Sim, she's very talented and she's like super busy. Maybe she even owns a vet or has the table at her home where you can actually craft different kind of um, pet treats and their medicine. So maybe you might even want to add in a pet vending machine or even like add in a basement and put that in there so you can actually make and stock vending um, the pet vending machine and the treats. So, oh yeah, see, I did add in the clutter over on the chair. So you can still lay down even though that is there. And I think I added in some pet treats there as well, but it didn't conflict with like any of the Sims having a nap. So this is really a, an awkward kind of shaped building, but I thought it was super, super adorable on the outside and it kind of flew like, I don't know, it kind of works. I do end up putting in a few other tables just to add in a lot of the clutter. And then once you place this down, make sure that you do have your move objects cheat enabled because everything is just kind of sized up. You are gonna see on this little table that I'm putting here. There is a lot of little trinkets. <laughs> There's like so many of these little squishy, squeaky toys, the balls, the hamburgers, everything like that. It's just kind of like a throw all. Um, area so you are gonna want to make sure you have your move objects or all of these they're just not gonna be placed properly so I didn't actually have um, there was some buckets and stuff that I used like in the farmers market built this summer but I thought I would incorporate a clean litter box I did use a litter box for a container but I swear it is clean and just kind of filled it out there with like all of the different toys for dogs and they're the dogs could actually come in, so you might see them kind of sneak some off the table. So you gotta kind of watch them. And yeah, so this is just kind of like a little knick-knacky area. It took me forever to have all of these places. And I was watching some show on Netflix, and it was like this guy was sent to like some hospital. He thought he was picking somebody up, but he was actually a patient. So I was like trying to watch that and do this at the same time and it felt like forever that it was taking me to place all of those. So yeah, I put some over here just to kind of take, like I feel like that definitely looks like it belongs in a cafe or a restaurant. So I just went ahead, added some like doggy treats and toys so it looks like it kind of matched the area. And I love those signs. I love that you can kind of add whatever you want on the signs to really um, make them customized for your store. I feel like a lot of the signs are very um, specific to like a pet hospital and like a vet clinic. So I like that they did incorporate some plain ones so that you can just kind of um, design them as you wish. So this table is probably my absolute favorite area in the whole entire store. So I did have this like blank wall. I had no idea what I was gonna place there. And it just kind of came to me like I didn't even know what I wanted to put there, but I felt like I didn't wanna move those shelves from the back of the store um, to the front. I thought it would look a little bit knick-knacky and cluttered, but yeah, that table of teddy bears, hands down my favorite area in the whole entire store. And once the kids actually pick up the teddy bears that are sized down, um, they actually can still play with them and interact with them and everything like that. So just adding in the normal store clutter of like all the sale signs 
and I love those flowers that are like in the little milk jug. So yeah, anyways you guys, I had so much fun doing this build. I would love to know down in the comments what other pets, cats and dogs inspired builds would you guys like to see me do? There's going to be so many builds and videos coming up for the next week for sure on my channel. I am so inspired to do all of these builds. So definitely let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Give this a very big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy and hopefully I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!